it's so rewarding to watch them grow and change from one grade to the next or how their personalities change, how they become um, young adults. Um, and to watch them be able to take care of their their medical needs, um, they start to get more and more independent uh, the older they get and how fun that is for them to be able to do that. And I was fortunate enough to have a wonderful anatomy and physiology high school teacher. He had us do a shadowing project back when you could do that. <laughs> it was when I was following the physician, um, I got to be in on some surgeries and then um, do hospital rounds with him. And that's when I decided I really want to go into medicine. And the second person that I shadowed was a primary nurse in the oncology department. And it was watching her and her compassion for other people. She just drew me to the nursing profession um, just by how she treated other people and how they were so receptive to her. I got a, a biology degree with a chemistry minor from USD. And from there, I, um, went to Augustana and got my nursing degree. I have been a nurse in the Beersford School District for the past seven and a half years. When a student comes into my room with COVID-like symptoms, I not only have to think about that student helping them, but I have to think about who they've been in contact with for the, for the last 48 hours. Um, I also need to think about if they were to continue to stay in school, who are they going to come in contact with? I've had a lot of parents that are very, very appreciative, but I've also had to deal with some very angry and unhappy parents and they have said some very hurtful things. And, and that to me is very, very hard. Because um, I, 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 I care about everybody's kids. And so, and I know they're not angry with me. They aren't able to work, their kids are home. We have to try to keep school and in-person learning. And, and so that's been um, our top priority. I guess I've never really considered myself as a hero. I was humbled and, and completely grateful for being awarded this. And I guess that kind of puts a little jump in my step to come back. Um, it makes me feel appreciated. Most other nurses probably feel the same way. A lot of them come to work, work 12 hour shifts, putting stuff on, taking it off a million times over. They don't get to go to the bathroom. They don't get to eat when they want to. And, and I think all of them are heroes.